development facilitator. Lorraine is a manager who works with federal hiring managers and veteran community stakeholders to employ veterans. Besides working with veterans, Lorraine has a passion for youth and has formed, founded two youth nonprofit goals, which means groups of adolescents living seriously, which is currently being taught at Central High and Faith Man, female adolescent in troubled homes. She is also president of Power Thinking Mind, Inc., where she is a career development life coach. Lorraine is currently finishing her first book, It's PC Time, Power Thinking Mind, Discovering Your Power Within. Uh, Ms. Lorraine was uh, presented to us by our own Cassandra Booker, and it's her sister work at DCFS. So um, with no further information, I will present Ms. Lorraine a race. call me Orange, 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 it's okay. And, and I'm used to um, walking around the room, but it's okay, I'm gonna have to stay stationary here because I'm so passionate about what I do. I'm so passionate about life. I'm so passionate about touching the lives of people, you see. You know, all, in, all, in all my um, adult life, I've always wanted to be an impact in someone's life. Because I know that when I was a young girl, when I was a little girl, you know, I grew up in an abusive home, you know, with a, you know, and, and I love my mother today, but, you know, as we know, sometimes parents, you know, they, 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 they do what only they know how to do. And so as a child, you know, um, my mother, I mean, I, I used to look up and ask, why did you give us her as a parent? Because she was so mean and, and so hateful and, and, uh, and, and so unloving to us. And um, so, and so, so there were times when, you know, I just didn't know why we even existed as children in in the home. Um, you know, we, we we were told what we couldn't do, and we were and we were told that we that we were not wanted, and we were never given a hug and said I love you, growing up in that kind of home. And as we grew up. You, um, you know, we began to uh, come in contact with individuals that were different. You know, we always saw other kids with stuff, and we always saw go to school and see other kids having stuff and with their parents, and we didn't have that. So we had an inferiority authority complex. You know, we didn't feel like we fit in. But as we, you know, grew up, and there was an individual in our lives, and you know, we were either, my mother had to move to a different state, uh, California, and I remember her, we either was going to be put up, you know, to the state, given to the state, or either someone was going to have to intervene. And that person that intervened, she decided she was going to adopt us. So we wouldn't be awarded to the state. And so she, and she already had three children of her own. So she took in her sister. She was 21 at the time. And she adopted us. She became our hero. She became the person that you know, took care of us and made sure we had an opportunity in life and put us on a different path to success. She became our hero. And so what I want to tell you today is that there's a hero on the inside of you. I don't want to get too far from this mic, but I'm so passionate about what I do. Can you hear me? Yes. Good. And I say, from time to time, I come back over here and I'll shout. But I want you to hear me. There's a hero inside of each of you in this room. You are born to impact this world. You are born to touch a life. You are born to change this world. Mother Teresa said, be the change you wish to see in the world. You may not be the police officer that went out to Sandy Hooks Elementary School, <coughs> you know, to, to rescue those children that were, the, you know, that were the victim of such a horrific crime. But there's a hero on the inside of you. And you may not be those firemen that push 
their way through the smoke and the debris in New York City to the Twin Towers to rescue those victims. But there's a hero on the inside of you. And you may not have served in the armed forces like I did and went to Iraq and went on the battlefield to save lives. You may not have served in the Army or the Navy, and, and, and if you had, and you did, thank you for your service, but you may not have served in the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine, or Coast Guard. But there's a hero on the inside of you. And I'm here to tell you that, that you were born a hero. So I encourage you today to look within yourself because you, there's, some, there's somebody in your life right now that you're making a difference to. You're impacting their lives. And so, you know, my sister didn't realize that when I became an adult, the person I would turn out to be. You see, I never knew that I would grow up to be who I am and achieve the things that I've achieved in life. Because at that point in my life, I didn't see a future. I didn't see a goal. But, I, but as I grew up, and I wanted more in life, I wanted to achieve more in life. I set dreams for myself, and I set them high. They said, your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. And I want you to know there's someone in the inside of you, everything you dream of, everything you want to be, everything you aspire to be is on the inside of you. Everything you aspire to be, you already are. You already that. You don't need to go out and find it. It's on the inside of you. You need to believe that. You need to change the way you think. Some of the time we think negative. We think we don't belong. We think we're failures. We think we can't make it. We think we don't deserve it. Change your thinking. Change the way you think. Look in your mirror and tell me who you see. Change you're thinking, start believing who you are. Start seeing yourself as somebody. Somebody who deserves. Somebody who's capable of achieving greatness in life. Capable of making an impact in this world. It doesn't matter what your circumstances are or where you came from. That's, your past don't determine your future. You're not a product of your environment. I tell my youth when I'm teaching at Central High School, I tell them, you're not a product of your environment. Make your, product, make your environment a part of who you are. You be the light in the world. You shine in a dark place. You go in that place and you shine. You make a difference in that environment. You make a difference in that life. These children come from places of abuse and neglect. And you're making a difference in their life. You're the hero in their lives. You're the hero that make a difference in their lives. When I think of the people in my life, there are many that I consider to be heroes. People that are personal to me, family members and friends that have helped me to grow and shape the person that I am today. And then there are distant heroes. There are distant people out there that I've never met that have helped to shape who I am. Those that I admire. I mean, I've read their books. And I've learned from their examples. It's safe, it's safe to say, right? Without these people in our lives, we would not be, be where we are today. I would not be where I am today had it not been for the people in my life, whether they be personal, family, friends, or someone from a distance. I would not be the woman I am today. I never thought I could go to college and get an education. I was never told that. I was never told that I could go to college and get an education. I was always told I wish I had never had you. But I got older though, and I had that hero in my life, you know? I had a hero. And she told me I could be anything I wanted to be. And so I saw that education, and I moved to a place because you have to get out of the normal place you are to make a difference in this world. Sometimes you have to change your circumstances to do better. And I'm going to move into a different place. I moved to Washington, D.C. and got a job there. And I finished college. I went to college and got my degree. And I went on to 
get a career in life. A little girl that never thought she would do that. Never thought she would be anything. And was never told that. But I looked in that mirror and I saw a dream. I saw a hero on the inside of me. That I could impact lives. I could impact that little girl of mine that may have been maybe going through what I went through. That may be in a home somewhere and they come to school and we don't know what's going on in their home when they come to school. But I want to be that impact in their life. I want to make a difference. Because you see, it's a hero on the inside of me. You see, so you have to look inward to the most important hero in your life. The one who can save you from any situation, who can take you to higher heights that you never dreamed of. The one who decides if you fail or succeed long before challenges is ever attempted. The one you see in the mirror. You see, that's your hero. That's your hero. The one you see in the mirror is your hero. You're the only one that can make a difference in your life. The only one. You see, I'm getting passionate here. You see, there was a, there was a man named Colonel Sanders. And see, someone told the Colonel that that chicken recipe is just not going to work. And he was told that over and over and over again. But I'm so glad he didn't listen. I'm so glad he believed in himself. And he went on to form Kentucky Fried Chicken. You see, Carol Sanders did that. He was told, I mean, over a thousand times from people that he was crazy. But he didn't give up. There's a theme park that exists out there. Someone had an imagination, and his name was Walt Disney. Someone told Walt that you don't, and he, he had no good imagination, and his ideal son. And he was fired from a newspaper, paper company, because of his crazy ideas. But he didn't quit. And because of that, there's a Walt Disney world because he did have an imagination. You see, he believed in the hero that was on the inside of him. He believed in his dreams. And his dream is that are touching lives today, touching children's lives and adults' lives all over this world because he believed in the hero on the inside of him. Walt Disney. There was another individual. You know, he was, he was, he was, he was put off the basketball team in high school. He told him he couldn't play ball. And he went home crying in the privacy of his bedroom. But he didn't let the early life setback stop him from playing the game. And the basketball superstar has said over and over again, he said, I have missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I have lost almost 300 games, and on 26 occasions I have been entrusted to take the game with a shot, and I missed. He said, I failed over and over and over again in my life, and that's why I succeed. Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. <coughs> that's why I succeeded. Here's an individual. She's a successful writer. But she was a divorced single mother on welfare, struggling to get by while attending school and writing a novel. But luckily, that novel turned into Harry Potter, J.K. Rowling. You see, these are ordinary individuals like you and I. Ordinary individuals who, who believed in their dreams, who believed that they were capable of making an impact in someone's life capable of making a difference in this world because it started with them. You see, somebody can open that door, but they can't push you through. Someone can build you wings, but they can't make you fly. You have to be the one to fly. And you have to be the one to push yourself through that door. The decision lies with you. There's a power so great and so phenomenal on the inside of you. It can change the course of life. It 
can change your negative situation into a positive situation. There's a power so great on the inside of you. And it's your thinking. You have a phenomenal mind. A mind that can shift things before your very eyes. It creates your reality. So whether you think you can, or whether you think you can't, you're right. You're right. So how you think it? Believe in yourself. Believe there's a hero on the inside of you. I refuse to let my past dictate who I am. I refuse to be stuck in a place where I was not going to go anywhere, accomplish anything. I refuse to do that. Ordinary people like you and I. You see, ordinary individuals <coughs> became heroes. Someone who wanted to make a difference. John F. Kennedy, a beloved former president of the United States. Someone who wanted, who had a dream. Martin Luther King, civil rights leader, and Nobel Peace Prize winner. Ordinary individuals, someone who had a vision of peace, John Lennon, rock and roll artist, and peace activist. Someone who wanted to free people from suffering, Princess Diana, Princess of Wales. Someone who, who, who uh, understands the power of one voice, Mahatma Gandhi. He brought independence to India through nonviolence. Someone who paved the way for others. Malayla Yusuzai. She was a teenager who was shot by the Taliban. And she survived. Someone who sees beyond his limits. Nick Bujasek. Australian motivational speaker who was born without arms or legs. These are ordinary individuals who made a difference. Ordinary individuals who impacted this world, who impacted lives. Ordinary individuals like you and me. It doesn't take rocket science. It doesn't take you see, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't take much for you just to look on the inside of you and believe in who you are and see that hero on the inside of you. Because there is a hero. You see, a mother whose who six-year-old son being was gone down at Sandy Hooks Elementary School. You see, Francine will. She reminds us to love beyond obstacles. Someone who helps us find balance between man and nature. Jan Goodall, primatologist and United Nations messenger of peace. You see, heroes don't run from the unknown. You don't run from the unknown. You run towards it. Because every day you get up, you don't know was out there before you. And I tell my young people to look on that tombstone in the graveyard. And when you look on a tombstone, there's a day you were born, and there's a day you die. You die. What's in the middle? A dash. And I ask them, what are you doing with your dash? You see, what are you doing with the dash of your life? Are you making a difference? Are you making a difference? Are you dreaming big? What are you doing with your dad? People live and they die and their dreams die with them. They never live their dreams. <coughs> they never allow that hero on the inside of them to come forth, <coughs> to come forth and live his dream and make an impact in this world. I'm so glad that one day I realized that I had a hero on the inside of me. I wake up every day wondering who can I, whose life can I impact today? <coughs> whose 
light can I touch today? How can I make a difference today? You see? So you don't have to wear a cape to be a hero. You don't have to wear a mask to be a hero. Each one of you in this room, <coughs> you are a hero. And you're somebody's hero. And you're making a difference. You're making a difference today. And I'm here to tell you that. So I am so glad that Cassandra decided that she was going to take care of her sisters and not allow us, you see, you know, to, to be put somewhere like so many of our children are. But adoption falls to home, okay? Somebody's there to, you know, to take care of you. And you all are in those roles like she was. You're in those same roles like she, like she was, taking care of her sisters and giving us a better chance at life and pointing us in the right direction. It wasn't about her. It was about making sure we had. And had we not had that opportunity, I wouldn't be standing where I am today. I wouldn't be, be believing in myself. I wouldn't see the hero on the inside of me. <clears throat> so you have to make a conscious decision to stand up on the inside. You see, so many of us are sitting down on the inside and allowing fear to hold us back. You see, fear will steal your dreams. You see, fear is a dream killer. And when you allow fear to hold you back, you'll never be the person that you were born to be. So you have to face fear in spite of. See, heroes don't, they're, they're fearless. See, heroes, they stand in the face of fear and challenges. They don't run from fear. They face it. And that's what you all are today in this room. And you're not a victim. You're not a victim. You're not a product of your past, your environment. You are a victim. So to be in this room today means that whatever challenges you had in life, You've overcome those challenges. You push your way through them. But you wouldn't be in this room today. Now what you're facing, you're believing that there's someone on the inside, a hero on the inside, to help you face those challenges and overcome those challenges. <coughs> I believe that. You need to believe that. You need to believe that. So, I want, to, I, want to, I, want, I want you to know that you are winners. See, winners never quit. I have this band here. And I, I had this band made because I wanted every day to remind myself not, not to quit. Because you're going to face time. You're going to face situations and you're going to want to throw in the time. You're going to want to quit. You're going to, you're going to want to do a, 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 an about face. Those in the military know what that means, right? You're going to want to do an about face. Right? You're going to want to give up. But you're going to have to look in that mirror and remind yourself, wait a minute, wait a minute. Aren't you a hero? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Aren't you a hero? So you can't quit. You see, don't quit. I'm always sharing because you're a power thinker. I, mean, I, love, I love the word uh, positive thinking, but see, I had to put a twist on it. See, you're a power thinker. Because there's a power on the inside of you. You're in control of this thing. You see, you're the author of your book. You're the author of your life. The pen, the pen is in your hand. You write your story. <coughs> so how is your story going to end? How many chapters in your book? What is the title of your book? 
I'm a human. Hate your life. Because you are your human. You are your own little space in this world. So I have that passion to create the life you want. I love what I do, taking care of veterans. Because I better as I saw this member get out of the military and they get discouraged, they have all the life to do. What do I do? What career do I take on now? <coughs> and to be there to encourage them. They have the best training in the world. And they can go out here and, 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 and achieve anything they put their minds to. To push them and encourage them that they can do this. And it gets discouraging. When that job not waiting on them when they get out. But to give them hope that there's a job out there just for them. And to be there to inspire them and, and, and to help them along the way on their journey. You see, everybody gets discouraged. Everybody faces fear. Just to be reminded that there's a hero on the inside of you. But you have to know that. You have to wake up every day and you have to know and believe that in yourself. The most important thing is what's the purpose in your life? Why are you here? You have to take that gift that's packed away on your back. And you have to jump off that cliff. We're dealing with fear here. You have to jump off that cliff. There's that cliff. And, and, and you know if you jump, there's a world of opportunity for you. You know if you jump. Well, I mean, there's just so much that you can do. You know if you just if you can just overcome that fear, doors and opportunities will open for you. If you just overcome that fear, there's so many places you can go. If you just overcome that fear, but I, I challenge you today. I challenge you today to take that gift, because there's a gift on the inside of you. There's a hero on the inside of you. That gift that's packed away on your back. <clears throat> You have to jump off that cliff and pull that cliff. You can play it safe and deal with the, without the cuts, because there's going to be some cuts. There's going to be some challenges. And you can stand on that cliff forever and be safe. But if you don't jump, if you don't jump, I have another promise I can make you. Your parachute will never open if you don't take that chance. If you don't overcome that fear, if you don't jump, there's a hero on the inside of you. Fearless, courageous, bold, phenomenal, powerful. There's a hero on the inside of you that's willing to take that jump that's willing to take that jump. So you have 24 hours in a day that belongs to you. And whatever you do in that 24 hours will determine what you can do tomorrow and the next day. Yes, it's, it's okay to want, you know, the, the, the big house and the nice cars and the six figures. It's okay to want that. I think what we should be focused on is that the, the 24 hours you have. You see, Oprah only has 24 hours. Bill Gates only has 24 hours. Warren Buffett only has 24 hours. They have the same amount of time as we have to be successful and to be anything you want to be in life. To go get it. To get up every day and make it count. 24 hours. So it can either break you, break your life, or make your life. You need to be fearless. You need to have a plan. You need to go for it. You see? So heroes don't quit. Heroes don't quit.
So having faith in yourself brings a sense of power, <clears throat> a drill. There's nothing you can't do, nothing you can't overcome. You see, the world transforms into your kingdom. It's what you make it. And while it doesn't owe you anything, you owe yourself to be your own hero. You owe it to yourself to be your own hero and to follow your heart. And what the world needs now are more heroes like the ones sitting in this room. The world needs more heroes like the ones sitting in this room. <laughs> like the ones I'm looking at right now. The world needs more heroes like you. Like you. So, you know, I'm so glad to be here. You know, I, 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 the, the power thinking mind that I have is a phenomenal program that I, I've set up to impact people's lives. Change people's lives. If you get a chance, check out my website, The Power Thinking Mind, or LoreenOwen.org, PowerThinkingMind.com. I'm a coach, life coach, transformation coach. And sometimes we need a coach. Sometimes we need to be a coach because we see so much potential in ourselves. You see, we see that hero. Sometimes it's just things in life that make that little hero afraid. And we just need someone to push us. Or someone, in other words, someone to open that door so we can push ourselves. Or someone to build our wings so we can fly. So I hope you've been encouraged today. To fly. I hope you've been encouraged today to push yourself, to look within yourself and see that hero. So when you go home this evening, I encourage you to stand in your mirror and ask yourself, what do I see? Who do I see in that mirror? I encourage you to look in there and see that hero on the inside of you. Now allow that hero to help you to impact life and change the world. Because the world needs more hearing like the world said it needs to be.